but this isn't too strong, but it like adds a little bit. How does it look? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the pocket, Josh? What's in the pocket? Oh, no. oh whoa. We're in Grand Junction. Do you think I should seal it? Nah. No issues. Making the Italians happy. <laughs> Show them how it's done. Yes, Bernard and Martin. I salt my water now. <laughs> <laughs> no longer washes the noodles afterwards. I never do that. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> Please don't burn my hand. You just grab it. I was gonna baby bird you. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's almost done. What's up, everybody? I'm back. But this time, we're in Grand Junction. This weekend is the Desert Rats Trail Running Festival and out in Fruta, Colorado. And I'm here racing tomorrow, the 21K. I'm excited to be back. Last year, I raced the 26 miler, and I'm excited to get back on these trails. And it's the last big one before the Canyon's 50K. What are your goals and hopes for tomorrow's race, Josh? So, the goals and hopes, as Jack asked, is just to get out there and get a half marathon based effort. Um, initially, I signed up this, for this race for the 50K as a backup to Canyon's 50 um, K. Okay. And so, with that being said, I switched it to the half marathon since I'll be racing the Canyon's 50K. And I looked at it instead of racing the or what I normally would do on this Friday is do a 10 mile progression tempo. Instead, I would thought it'd be better to just race the half marathon. So I'll be doing a long warm up, race the half, short cool down, call it good, the last hard effort before Canyons. Quick recap. So it's exciting to be back here. I've kind of took a pause from social media in the last two weeks. So Gunnison has been extremely snowy and I needed an escape. So with that being said, three weeks ago, I decided to go down to the front range and focus completely on training. I'll show some segments or some workouts up in the corner, up over here. And I'm, I'm happy with how training went. And it's good to have that early season stuff. It's good to get some vert right now, some good, really specific training. It was good to escape Gunnison. Gunnison has about a meter of snow everywhere when I left. It's dried out a little bit, but there's still a ton of snow. Um, so I was luckily lucky to have those two weeks to train down there. Feeling good. As always, you don't know until race day. Tomorrow, I'm still not completely fresh after that big segment or recession down in the front range. But if tomorrow, regardless of the result tomorrow, the goal is just to get a hard effort. The goal is just to get an hour, 20 minutes of hard aerobic work and call it good. Jack's out here. Uh, I wish I had a camera right now. <laughs> Jack Breezley, my, my roommate. Come in here, come in here. Say something, say something to the... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're out here, I'm helping Jesh and that's what's up. <laughs> but tomorrow, let's Tomorrow get we're getting fire starting footage and finishing footage and everything before and after that but not in between yeah exactly let's hit it tomorrow let's get it <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything bad now don't say anything bad <laughs> just goes 10 seconds without having to say anything bad beat fatigue training our Airbnb, they were partying all last night above us, so got no sleep. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> That's what I love to see. I like how we were the first people here. Um, 
You know, I guess, I guess we're first in everything. <laughs> Hopefully, first in everything. <laughs> Athletes coming back. Oh, yeah. I was kind of worried. Series, time and time again. I was kind of worried about it. Because it's like coming out that last to say, I wasn't moving too well. <laughs> guess it worked. Sick. Congrats. Thanks for being out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the Glenwood Springs, Colorado, let's welcome Trevor Allen finishing off a half marathon today. <laughs> What's up Chipotle? Today we're ordering four grand worth of burritos that I can't afford. <laughs> they, don't know, they don't know this one simple trick. Just run. Just run away. We were all runners there. <laughs> What's up everybody? We're back. We're back in Gunnison. A few days post race. Feeling good. It feels good to finally be back in Gunnison. I haven't been in the valley for the last like three weeks. I was here a few days before the race, but I had to leave, go to the race. I had to quickly pick up my kit on the way to Grand Junction, our new race kit. So, but it feels good to be back. A lot less snow now. Um, we're headed out to Canyons next weekend, so it feels good. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So let's recap this weekend. So Desert Rats happened, 21K happened, and I feel good about it. So I ended up getting the win, getting the CR, and yeah, so it was good. So initially, as I said in the pre-race interview, the goal was just to have a tempo-based effort before Canyons. So instead of doing a tempo here, do it on the race course. So yeah, it was good. Um, I was hoping that there was gonna be more people that were gonna go with me at the start, so I ended up leading the whole entire race from 200 meters into the race. Um, I thought some people were gonna go with me. I was hoping my boy Ryan, if he ever watches this, I thought you were gonna go with me, um, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, it feels good to get the win. Um, I was rolling pretty good the first seven miles to the aid station before the big climb. The big climb happened. I, I'm, I'm still, I still have a lot of work I gotta do on the uphills. I'm not the strongest uphill climber. Um, but no, it was good. And then on the downhills, felt good, felt controlled, feeling good for canyons. Was able to end up getting the win. It would have been nice to run a little bit faster, like a minute faster. I know where I could run faster. Um, but yeah, so race was good, felt good during it. Um, I'm a little tired right now. Obviously, it's a half marathon. It was at a tempo slash threshold effort, um, felt like a race. Um, it was a win, it was a CR, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so you had a little bit longer, so going over the nutrition, had a little bit longer warm up before the race, took 100 grams of carbohydrates in a 500 mil soft flask, had 60 grams, 60 to 80 grams during the race. Um, I don't know specifically, I just had a bottle 
filled with carbohydrates. And then, yeah, that was pretty much the whole entire thing. Had no gels. During canyons, I will take a gel. I'll probably have three bottles with 80 grams of carbohydrates in each. Then I will have three gels on top of that. And then I'll have a little bit of spare because I think the race should take at canyons between three and four hours. I'm guessing about 3.30. Um, I'm just I'm just predicting based on races that are in that area, similar gain. But yeah, feeling good. Um, yeah, I'm excited, excited because it feels good to be back in Gunnison. Um, but yeah, we got Desert Rats done. First race of the second, second race of the season. Forgot about Salida. Second race of the season. Um, feels good to be on the podium two times. They were both low key races, but now at Canyons, it's time to execute. Um, I'm excited to see how it goes down. I got to get top 10 to qualify for OCC. I'm hoping for more. I'm trying to get on the podium, putting it out there. I don't know how it's actually going to go down. You got to show up at race day and hope you can execute. Um, but regardless, I'm excited and yeah, we'll just go from there. So yeah, so the next stop, California. Let's get it. <laughs>